Well, thank you, Max. Uh, in national news, the White House is asking Congress for $4.5 billion in emergency border funding. It says the money is for what it calls a dire situation along the southern border right now. A senior administration official says the money would not be used to fund any additional miles of wall. President Trump declared a national emergency earlier this year in a bid to secure funds for a border wall without congressional approval. The Department of Homeland Security says it'll run out of money for border operations before the end of the year if it doesn't get more money. And more migrants dropped off in the valley by ice. This group was not taken to a church, but rather to a private home in Levine. Since October, we have been covering hundreds of migrant families turned over to local churches after they were released from ice detention centers. And now a local nonprofit has set up a new shelter in a neighborhood. Our Lauren Reimer found out how it works and also how neighbors feel about it. They call it the ranch. We decide to come here because it's more comfortable. They can have a nice time. The nonprofit group, helping with All My Heart, rented out the three acre gated property in Levine just three weeks ago. Working with ICE, they take in 50 migrants at a time and give them a temporary place to eat, sleep, and play. These are families with children, all from Central America, escaping gang violence and coming to the U.S. to claim asylum. <laughs> Typically, ICE brings them to local churches, but some of those churches would get overwhelmed. Helping with All My Heart believes it's the first group in the valley to rent out a space specifically to house migrant families. I feel very happy. I can see in every family that I can support, I can help them, I can uh, make them feel comfortable in this in this beautiful place, in this beautiful country. But not everybody is happy about their new neighbors. Some nearby residents say they weren't given a heads up about the new shelter moving in. One day I was sitting out here like I am now and Homeland Security came over there and dropped the people. I didn't tell anybody nothing or anything. They have concerns about how many people are on the property. I feel bad for the people. You know, I feel sorry for the kids that are out there, you know, but this is not the place for them. The nonprofit runs entirely off of donations. They say they're going to need help if they're to continue renting the space. That we are helping. Yes, we are helping to go to their place to have a better life like we, we have it.